Hey friends, marhaba. I am your Samira Aziz and your Samira Aziz is here again with you for you in your own show. Smile with Samira Aziz. Friends, you should be ready to flaunt your smile always with lots of positiveness. Support a smile. Peace. Uh, friends, today we have somebody new. Chiyo Konda Vizicelli. She's an Italian international pop singer, composer, lyricist and the unique thing that uh she is actually working in bollywood as well and she's the first one by the way who has brought this opera in bollywood and she created a bollywood opera wow so we will have a great 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 uh, superb chat with her i'm sure so be a witness of this uh, great upcoming interview face to face with her let's go don't waste the time <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, I'm good. I'm good. Hi, everyone. How are you? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. And uh, let me know if I'm pronouncing your name in a good way, Gioconda Vesicelli, right? Perfect. The first one. <laughs> Tell uh -huh. Everyone is actually uh, making errors when pronouncing my name, but it's understandable because it's a pretty difficult name. Anyways. Ha so, ha. Uh, alaikum, you, because you yeah, are in Saudi so. Arabia right now, correct? Yeah. Wow, great. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. you are saying assalamu alaikum. Uh, really, really nice. I think you are very good in, uh, you know, languages. And Bahrain is saying that uh, talk to you in Hindi. Yes. So can yes. I talk to you in Hindi? Bilkul, Achha, bilkul. Kaha se sikha? Habib, I'm in Italy. Uh, after yeah. the lockdown, lockdown ke baad, uh, abhi situation acha hai, to abhi main khush hoon. To, I'm very happy to have so many fans in India, in Pakistan, in Saudi Arabia, in Dubai. It's always beautiful, you know, uh, to be in contact with uh, fans from all over the world. So I'm very thankful to you for asking me to join this conversation today so that I can be more in contact with the with uh, my uh, fan also with the world so yeah so you know i i, I want to ask about your journey you know how you are capable to learn hindi and how you came here so tell us uh, hmm. something uh, how you begin yeah actually this uh, this journey it was a spiritual journey tha kyunki main bahut spiritual ladki hu so mera fir time uh, bharat se it was uh, in ganga river i did a dip in the, Gang in the ganga river and uh, actually it changed my life it was like you know a new life a new vision of the world that started for me so from there it, it actually happened very very easy and uh, i think uh, if i go back it is it's like a kind of uh, uh, incredible and magic way because uh, I I started um, as of sudden um, speaking Hindi also very fluently and also singing uh, Hindi songs. So it was something that maybe I don't know. Mera Pandit says to me, "Kya, in my previous life I was uh, maybe Hindustani lorki, but uh, yeah." Actually, it was a sabbatic year, and uh, I decided to just uh, uh, to just stop for some time uh, my work, my opera work, uh, because uh, you know I wanted to explore those countries that I never visited. As actually, there is no, there are no opera theaters in India, so I never got the chance of traveling there and of singing there in opera. So that's how it came also in my mind to create a, a genre which could combine Bollywood, uh, Ghana and also opera for the first time ever. So I'm, I'm happy to have been the pioneer of this new genre, combining, blending some from European tradition and some from, uh, of course, Indian, uh, Indian tradition. Because I'm very fond of Bollywood, I've always been very fond of it. So how uh, India accepted opera and let me know about what their response was. 
Yes, <laughs> so nice. Um, actually, the the response was very very great for me. Also, if I think that it was also a risky, a risky you know challenge because you imagine uh, this foreigner who goes into a different country where nobody or very few people have uh, listened to opera, and um, I received uh, all the times standing ovation like in Mumbai Nehru Center where I, I have done concerts with uh, all the legendary artists of classical Indian music as well as I did some collaboration with Sukhwinder Singh uh, in Punjabi with Mika Singh uh, and many others just to name a few and uh, I realized that people always enjoyed and uh, that has been very very nice because you know I, I would have never imagined that from India I would have gone back to western countries in Chicago I was invited by ZTV to be in the jury and to perform my Bollywood opera songs there. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy because it was unexpected for me too. And I'm a kind of adventurous person. So I always like to do something risky, let's say like that. And uh, <laughs> I think uh, uh, it's going pretty good. And uh, how long you are there right now in India? Since how long? Uh, actually, I kept on traveling because I'm, I, I'm continuing, of course, doing my opera shows and everything. So basically, um, the first time I was there, it was in 2014. And uh, I stayed there for two, three months. And then um, I went back to, to Europe uh, because, uh, you know, opera season is something that keeps you busy for one production. is a kind of movie because opera singers are both actors and singers because actually they act on the stage live but uh, rather than speaking they sing so they express their lines through singing so um, it, it, for doing one opera which is actually lasting maybe one hour of show you need to prepare it for one month one month and a half to you know um, to uh, to be in, in in harmony with the orchestra, with the choir, and it's like you know a very very big factory. Also in the theater, there are about uh, so uh, people, uh, five hundred people working there. So mm. it's it's a big responsibility also also because it's live. So it's live. So you cannot cut the scene in case you <laughs> you have mistaken something or or anything so you you should be very very well prepared and also uh, the audience is right there in the theater so of course uh, yeah it's uh, something very interesting and so you have been traveling with your whole group uh, uh, you you stay all for 3 months or you make your group there in india locally uh, no, actually, in India, I've done uh, uh, mostly uh, solo concerts where uh, the blending and the fusion was uh, exactly with the, um, the novelty, blending with the Indian uh, instruments players like sitar, sarangi. So it was something new because normally opera is supposed to be done with the cello, with the violin, uh, with the piano. And instead I did that uh, with the Sitar, Sarangi, uh, and uh, Tabla, also Zakir Hussain. It was a fantastic uh, concert. So um, that, that was the novelty, and that was what it actually um, stimulated me and uh, made me enthusiastic about this new journey of mine, actually. And uh, how many people are there in your group, permanent, permanent members? Uh, Normally, there are five, uh, five um, uh, piece orchestra, the quintet, the classical quintet. That's, um, that's what's, uh, what I'm doing normally in my concerts. Uh, but yet, of course, like uh, uh, during a proper opera um, show, like in European country, we do that with uh, 80 people in the orchestra, uh, 200 people in the choir. And uh, sometimes there are also dancers in some particular operas, which included ballet. So it's uh, it's quite a busy <laughs> a busy show. And then there are the soloists like me who do the main characters, the principal characters. So it's uh, uh, it's hard, you know, to 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 
try to to coordinate all these like a puzzle no all these elements which uh, at the end uh, they make uh, a opera opera show to happen actually you know i had also uh, the good memories in and they are being saudi uh, i went there as well as a student uh, to study and okay. i was uh, learning for making there and then uh, uh, i i uh, i was uh, sent uh, to a theater uh, that was an urdu theater because urdu, i'm an wow. urdu writer yeah ah, <laughs> and urdu and hindi are similar yeah ah, no, and they really they really welcomed me and uh, they accepted me my costume because i was uh, wearing the sari and but i was wearing in a saudi ah. way you know just Oh, but they okay. accepted and they really encouraged a lot i had very good experience working with them and really? uh, indians are really really it's very welcoming you, nation you know it's very beautiful what you did because actually the new tendency of the new director as i'm also the director of opera and of theater in general is to incorporate like uh, contemporary elements like contemporary makeup contemporary dresses and uh, also styles of the uh, of the scenography uh, to incorporate this uh, these elements uh, with the plot which is an ancient plot uh, because the plots of operas normally they belong to 18th 19th and 20th centuries but uh, uh, you can you know you can express your creativity like you did actually by using uh, dresses which actually belong to a different culture and to different uh, you know styles so Yes, I, I would like to see. It's very amazed that it, it could be like when I did my. This is. Pele, pele uh, opera show, Bharat se wearing a uh, sari. It was quite an emotion because <laughs> I tried so many dresses from so many different stylists to wear the costumes of the of the show. But first time I I sang in in a sari, so it was quite an emotion. Mm-hmm. Here, Birin is telling me to to tell you that Toshi Sabri is uh, my close friend and all this. I don't know why Birin is saying to that, but yeah, I when I was looking there. Sorry, sorry, are, I didn't. Sorry, can you? He see? he he. Uh, Birin is writing uh, that tell her means I should tell you that Toshi Sabri, the music director and a singer, he is my close uh-huh. friend. So uh, <laughs> because you know, actually, uh, they they were everyone was very good host and they were taking care of me. So so many celebrities, families. you know mm. they became my friend and whenever i didn't had uh, to go El to the university uh, bagadia who is the fantastic organizer and uh, thanks yeah. to whom uh, this uh, this uh, um, connection live has been possible i i've met him in a show in mumbai for holi i remember that mm-hmm. and uh, it was fantastic because that show you know was also incorporating that uh, kali kali mata ji show which was also another form of theater plus i sang some um, songs uh, like uh, ashiki do song in my bollywood opera style and uh, yeah wow. i have good memories of that about that and it was it my first uh, day playing holi with the so colorful that that what what actually makes me very happy and very um, amazed by by india the, this use of color this atmosphere of positivity of good vibrations so i have a very good memory about that yeah this show well, is my name amira aziz <laughs> Yeah, this show Smile with Samira Aziz is also supported by BJM Entertainment, Brain Bagadia, and his team Mayor Gupta. And from Samira Aziz Entertainment, we have Saad Abdul Latif, and this is a combined effort. So we are doing Fantastic. this. Fantastic. Fantastic. And uh, uh, we have been actually it, we started it as a lockdown show, and then what we do, we added it and we just uh, boost it uh, in the social media, targeting Middle East audience. So this is what we are okay. doing. That's and uh, a thing that you do because you know this lockdown is also you know a good opportunity for increasing the culture and for making people also knowing new things that maybe in our busy life when we are all working or we are not so much time at home we cannot we don't have actually time to to go deep in some things that uh, of interest for us so yeah it's it's, it's very beautiful beautiful initiative what uh, you guys are uh, are doing and uh, uh, as you know like maybe you have an idea that now the saudi industry is opened up they have now cinema and the saudis they love opera 
and mm. it's a people to people inter- interaction you know so i use entertainment platform for this cultural exchange and for that just uh, contact brain bagadia he is uh, managing me in bollywood and mm. uh, yeah so uh, i want to uh, talk to you further on uh, regarding i have your biography that you are from rome italy and opera singer can we listen anything uh, any song ah uh, of, of opera you mean like opera songs yeah, yeah. any song and, yeah um, actually i'm very close uh, to puccini operas and verdi operas which are uh, very difficult operas but at the end of the day they give lots of satisfaction after you you are able to sing it and after you know lot of practicing rehearsal and technique so you know you must know that actually opera singers they don't even use microphones when they are singing because it's a bahut purana style hai it's a very old kind of of style at, the, at that time there was no electricity of course during the uh, 18th and 19th century so uh all the singers they were not using microphones but they were just using the cavity of the bones of the face which is called mask in a technical way and uh, also they were um, using the acoustic particular acoustic theater in like roof so normally um, uh, i can sing i don't know like uh, from taken a, a bit sample um, taken from uh, madama butterfly which is a puccini opera set uh, in japan so i'm sure that uh, if uh, puccini would have uh, known about indian culture would have written something also related with a setting like indian setting like he did for this opera which is uh, which has a, a japanese setting and uh, this this is called legato actually it's like you know like uh, linking each notes each pitch to each other but then there are very very fast also notes like these other opera which is uh, the 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 magic flute by mozart it's much more faster and uh, it requires more technique more breath also uh, for uh, you know keeping you know the, those very high pitches in uh, in the right position so they should vibrate and resonate and uh, the the audience should hear them. so without microphones yeah So uh can you sing in Hindi as well koi Hindi mein sunaye gana Ah okay Um ah I can do this uh, Ashiki too because I put those bridge where uh, there are just notes play by the the instruments I did the vocalization and opera vocalization Um tere bina bareh nahi sakte tere bina kya majood mera to jo se joda agar ho jayenge to khud se hi ho jayenge juda kyunki tum hi ho ab tum hi ho zindagi ab tum hi ho chain hai mera dard hai meri aash ki ab tum hi ho as you can see i i do an alternation between pop vocal initiation and the opera inside the song 
inside the song like and then i go back to the pop vocal um, range of voice tera mera rishta hai kaisa ek pal dur gawar nahi tere liye har roz jeete to khud se hi ho and then it it comes like when there is uh, the last speech uh, which is um, i i i actually designed uh, in, because i'm a composer some uh, different uh, variation to this song like final of uh, of the song so i i kind of uh, you know designed accordingly to the opera vocal uh, range of uh, of notes superb superb and uh, if you if you get any offer for arabic song then would uh, you like to go for it for any arabic song oh for sure you know i liked a lot i did the one version it's sufi actually because i was in turkey on the tomb of the head of sufi uh, that mulana and i got i went in trance then i i sang some other uh, sufi songs in uh, my concerts in dubai recently and in bahrain Shukran Allah, wa lahamad Allah. Shukran Allah, wa lahamad Allah. And then I put Italian lyrics. Sempre, sempre, come nel mio cuore qui. Io e te per sempre, sempre noi. Pioggia bianca su di noi. Sento forti energie. Vieni a me per sempre, mio amore. Shukran Allah. And uh, yeah, there are so many other music now. I don't have that uh, harmonium with me. So uh, there are more proper classical, uh, you know, Sufi song that uh, it really, really, you know, they make me going into a different zone. <laughs> as well as when i first the first time i i i i was living in mumbai close to a, a mosque and this mosque used to play very beautiful uh, at 5 am these songs um, by the, um, the 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 chief of the priest no of this muslim priest and it was so beautiful for me to wake up with that sound you really felt it's like a sound coming from god from a different zone from a different Uh, you know higher higher level because uh, it was so beautiful i remember with with lots of pleasure those those days because uh, you know you wake up with the uh, fantastic sounds and then you get inspired all the day long about what uh, music that you want that's called azan azan yes i was forgetting the the, the, the name right now. azan yeah. exactly yeah uh you know uh, uh i was reading your reading your biography and you uh, uh you, you are an inventor and a pioneer of bollywood opera style yeah, yeah. yes uh-huh. it's, uh, it's been uh, something new and uh, that has made me proud because i got uh, the indian women awards uh, first time the pele time given to a foreigner <laughs> even though i i'm not indian because of fusion these two cultures uh, was also had a social meaning to fuse uh, um, western culture with the uh, eastern culture so it gave me you know uh, the the possibility of creating a bridge between these two cultures 
So it was unexpected. This prize was pretty unexpected and surprise for me. And uh, but anyways, I accepted with lots of love, and uh, I, I was very proud about it. We would like uh, to have a Bollywood opera in Saudi Arabia, actually, because yeah. Saudis not? are Why? good fans. Yeah, and that was something new and unique for us also. I, and I say hello to all the beautiful fans that I. Can here they are sending messages of love this isafak uh, imu patel and all these uh, people ah someone is asking me you are saudi no actually everyone even when i was in egypt in arabic countries in dubai they were speaking to me in arabic uh, maybe i look <laughs> i look arabic but i'm 100% italian may italy say who but maybe good god knows i'm i'm me myself a blending of different uh, races maybe because when i'm in india they told they tell me i'm a punjabi lurki when i put this bindi they they feel i am but mostly they say i'm arabic unfortunately i can't speak arabic but i i want to learn it it's uh, one of the languages that i've not learned so far so yeah why not <laughs> Uh, you uh, have sung a song for a Bollywood movie, Parag, right? In 2013. How was, was that? How you learned it? Tell me about that. Yeah, it, it was my first experience, and I was so much uh, deep in the into that song, into exploring these new sounds. So you know, it's like uh, when you are a child. Mm, I used to be a child prodigy, actually. So I, I got the same feeling a few hours later because it's like you know, like you 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 become a child somehow, and you want uh, you are very curious to explore forms of music that you have never heard before, and also new languages and uh, new kind of freedom, new kind also of um, of style of working uh, working. indian musicians so you know it made me so enthusiastic and uh, that's why i accepted the very you know straight away i, I said okay yeah let me see what is this uh, this project about and um, actually i initially i was quite skeptical about it because this uh, movie was just um, made produced by two very young guys that i met in a vip party while i was my first time in mumbai and so i was like um, maybe they are i don't know they are not a, such young boys uh, how can they movie maybe they are uh, trying to say that because they want to make friendship with me and then maybe nothing will happen uh, out of this uh, of this song but still i was pretty curious of um, understanding how it's a indian studio and how do they work so i just adventurous way i just went there to record and i remember it was very early in the morning because when i had my flight i straight i was almost to miss my flight back to europe i straight went from the studio to the to the airport and um, yeah actually after one year I even forgot about this uh, recording because you know I I always uh, keep myself very busy so I I forgot about that after one year they they called me back and they said you know this movie has been critically acclaimed so why don't you come for the launch of this movie and uh, okay I will I said I will come so I I that was the second time uh in india somehow they won't want wanted me to come back and uh, there i met all the other bollywood celebrities so from there all these collaborations and this idea of creating bollywood opera star actually and then uh, for your for the journey uh you have given your voice for a bollywood movie mary kom on song ziddi yeah. dil yeah yes it was written with shekhar vadwani and all the other fantastic composer who wanted to incorporate uh, opera style uh, in this uh, in this song so it it was fantastic because um it was uh, such a beautiful and uh, hard work in progress before finding the right melody and uh, a melody which should be appealing and which should suit both western countries and 
Eastern countries. So it has been also research, a deep research about the, the proper sun. So um, of course, of course, it has been uh, a beautiful. Uh, what they say also for. Can we listen to that song? Composer. Your voice, the diddle. Can you sing for Pardon? us that? Can you sing for us that song? Okay. The diddle. Yes. And then the opera voice comes. It comes through the webcam because I can hear my voice coming back to me. I don't know if it's reaching you guys. The audio oh, looking, is looking good. So uh, so nice. It comes back to me. So I, I think there are some uh, audio problems. But uh, yeah, this was a fantastic experience because it made me understand that uh, when you do the arrangements in the music uh, producing, you can use uh, both. Uh, Eastern and Western instruments, so I gave them also the idea of incorporating a violin or a piano in a classical way, actually in a Western classical way. So it was both a mutual, uh, you know, exchange of ideas and of experiences, both for me and also for the Indian musicians and for the composer. So it was a grow for growth for both of us. And then in 2014, you sang with Mika Singh, right? Ah, Mika yeah, Singh is... and Kuwar Virik. So, yes. uh, yeah. So he was a king of Bollywood and you are a queen of opera. Wow. So I, I want to listen to that song, what you sang for. That was in, in Punjabi language uh, because uh, Mika is a Punjabi. So we actually met this uh, uh, event uh, with all the other Bollywood stars and he was impressed by the way I used to uh, to repeat these Punjabi words very easily with no accent in inflection as per what he said so he said why don't you do a Punjabi song with me so I said okay why not it's something new and then I also jumped in this uh, other further uh, adventurous uh, project and it's, uh, it's, this is actually a, a party song. So the funny thing about this is that to me, I, I completely don't drink alcohol. I'm kind of yogi. <laughs> I don't smoke. I don't, so then they, later on, they told me, actually, this is a Daru song. It's like <laughs> speaking about <laughs> So I said, now you're telling me, because I was trusting them blindly, also the rapper. And they said, yeah, yeah, it will sweet, it will appeal so much the uh, North Indian people, Punjabi uh, audience. So don't worry, don't worry, we will tell you later. And I was in a rush because I was, um, I was going back to Italy also. At that time, I said, okay, is, is it um, a song about party and all? Yes, yes. Then I discovered it was about Daru. But it is like chori chori poka vich pali mata viske ne rakke sakka mujhe ka himmat hai sakki khud bhi piyungi aur tujhe ko pilaungi ni tere liye aaj sare bol do hai sakki tor ach ke tor hat ke tujhse na zambalungi aaj mere ya let's go and then it continues with mika by voice and then there is the rapper portion and then i did some uh, like uh, high pitches now like <laughs> like that so it's, it's something you know experimental and uh, mm, new things I like crazy things like also Mika Baji likes so I think uh, that uh, this concept made us uh, both uh, happy that was something and new the great and thing is that the, the shooting of the video actually I, I wanted to be 
co-director along with the Chintan Shah who was the director because uh, I wanted to create something innovative like uh, normally these party songs are about uh, uh, the day itself of the party instead I wanted to showcase what's happening the day after the party when everyone is like uh, lying on a sofa almost as left and um, there is this um, this girl this foreigner girl who was impersonated by me who comes and gives you know a new a new kind of um, of vision of the of the party because in the video i'm shaking when when it's saying um about speaking about daru you know i'm shaking milk <laughs> so it's like see i'm getting drunk with milk and not with the usual alcohol which because i'm i don't understand Uh, what, what is an interesting part is that you understand the meanings of the lyrics also you know what does it mean daru later on later on because now after a few years that i've been keeping going up and down uh, uh, from europe to india i wonder so but that time i didn't know <laughs> so uh, after we recorded and uh, the, the audio was ready uh, there was a gap of kind of 2 3 months Uh, for shooting the video because i was uh, in europe i needed to come back to india i wanted to shoot that uh, with indian actors and indian uh, dancers so at that time after three months i realized oh you have done to me a trick so i will punish you i will put milk in the video <laughs> rather than uh, whiskey or uh, vodka or whatever so that that was uh, like a funny funny things about the genesis of this um, project And then, then uh, the romantic songs was one uh, uh, released by the series like uh, uh, like itni si baat hai that samore who were speaking about love in a romantic way and in a more conventional way like uh, indian style so uh, actually it was a result um, coming from the fact that i was living more time in india so was you know incorporating inside myself better the typical tradition and the typical also ideas and habits of indian culture so that was an homage for me to indian culture to do a proper romantic song with a pura uh, hindustani lyrics in the song and um, and everything and here the first time ever in a bollywood opera song of you sang a fusion between opera and bollywood style and uh you are in the annual book of italian opera singer for having sung in the first world version of contemporary opera of uh the teatro comunale di modena broadcast in india italian state radio right yes that was a very difficult opera because it was a contemporary opera where the first time uh, the, the the composer was alive and was there in the theater which is a teatro means a theater in italian language so um, it, it was very difficult i remember because he was exploring uh, uh different rhythms uh, different instruments and uh, i remember i um, i i learned it very fast uh even though it was very difficult so maybe that's the reason i was chosen for that kind of role because normally opera singers um, they they take lots of time for learning contemporary operas but uh, the theater production didn't have enough time at the, in that year so they did some quick artist who is able to to put up the full opera in a very fast way and um, i have uh, beautiful memories to re- regarding this opera because it was casted wo- worldwide in the radio also in the government radios and uh, most of all uh, because uh, it was performed in modena which is a city north of italy um, where my um, my teacher and guru Luciano Pavarotti who is the best opera singer of the world i'm sure you have heard about him uh, was born and so at that time i was also getting some lessons from him that added a value of course to my performance because he's a legend like uh, Asha Bosle let's say or some other uh, I also met Asha Bosle and I felt there were some point of, con- of contacts between these two great legendary singers even though they belong to 
to different and very far cultures, each other. But, uh, you know, it's uh, both are very inspiring artists and they gave me a lot from an artistic point of view in my process of growth because I, I feel that uh, an artist never, uh, never stops learning. It's a con till, till the, uh, the day he dies, it's a continual you know, learning, learning, and uh, getting And who's skills. your uh, favorite uh, Bollywood singer, both male and female, mm. to whom you inspire? Ah. Well, it's pretty tough to say, because, you know, I feel that everyone in their genre and in their vocality, in their vocal voice, are, um, are different. Uh, but uh, I like a lot uh, Arjit Singh. It sings voice for the male, of course. The texture, I actually, I, I'm very fond and particular about the texture. Maybe it's a, my mental distortion being an opera singer, I always look at, at that, of course, and also the expressivity when, when he sings. He can give, you know, a value to each and every sing, single lyrics, lyric or word. And uh, the, fe the female, uh, I don't know, maybe Sunidi, Sunidi Chawon. Uh -huh. I like, I like her voice, her style, and uh, yeah. But actually, the, there are different. Uh, you know, everyone in their styles actually, they they do great. Also, that uh, Nea Kakar, for example, I like her mm -hmm. a little bit in the voice and uh, in the way she expresses. So. And you have been uh, winning so many awards and titles as well, as I can read it here. Let us know about that. What type of award? Uh, yeah, these are uh, opera, international opera competitions where um, since uh, uh, I used to, to, to do a competition, a challenge with the best opera singers from all over the world, Dunia Se. So um, I always won the first prize <laughs> and uh, uh, it, it made me very happy because, you know, when you have to compete with the opera singers from, uh, uh, from Russia, from USA, from England, from France, from Germany, and um, you, you get that awards, it's actually, you know, something that uh, makes me very happy also because... Uh, I got them uh, when I was very young, the first one when I was like uh, 13, so it's, it's pretty a great achievement because uh, I was every time, you know, the, the youngest singer performing. Because you must know that normally the, the climax of a career of an opera singer starts when you are like 28, 25, because you, you cannot start singing before the age of 16. 18 because that's when your vocal cords they shift from white voice into proper voice so from a physiological point of view because that's that's the um, the age you do also the you know the puberty you know the, 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 the you you grow up in that moment you should start opera because um, otherwise the voice is like a childish voice instead i started uh, much before <laughs> Actually, since I was like my mother used to say, you you were born singing and not <laughs> crying like the other children because I was a very kind of strange child singing opera when all the other kids were singing maybe cartoons, uh, song uh, in a normal voice, in a white voice. So. And uh, Biren is asking, how did you feel when... Uh, you met with Salman Khan. Oh, that was a very, very beautiful meeting because, uh, you know, I felt him is a very intelligent person. Uh, we were talking a lot. I, I was there on the set, uh, his movie that, uh, um, what was the name? Bajirao, uh, Baj uh, no? What, with, yes. <laughs> and um, he actually stopped uh, shooting and uh, it was you know interact with me and with some other uh, producers and um, with so some other director lady and we were speaking about you know the different points of direction we because me being a director i felt that i could have contributed and also make a sort of a parallelism or comparison between the different 
technique of shooting so it was a very interesting and very intelligent uh, kind of meeting so it, it, uh, i felt i felt very very great actually and, and he also congratulated with me because he wanted me to give him a sample of opera boys so i sang an opera song for him uh, and uh, it was very you know goosebumps he said so i i really you know uh, like those kind of people who are always open mind towards achieving uh, different cultures and different different uh, styles of cultures and uh, what do you think about saudi arabia mm. oh i I, what's your idea about us as a Saudi I, woman? I was what there about and I really enjoyed and I must say that in Europe the television does a, a terrible brainwash against the Arabic countries which is not true because once you see with your, your own eyes and you you stay for some time in that uh, in these uh, countries you realize how many lies the television says especially in western countries i want to say that because it's nothing like that like they picture eyes i was al- almost you know in uh, uh, i was almost feeling to to become muslim because the way they actually say the truth about the quran about you know the the, the speech of a lie and everything it, it, it's fantastic and um, uh people are very open minded so when they say uh, things uh, they say it from heart and they actually do that they don't just talk by the by talking but they actually if they say one thing it's because they mean it and because they really will do that and that's a rare quality nowadays in this country where everyone in this world where actually everyone speaks speaks a lot then you go to the facts uh, to to concretize and uh, uh, you can see just the smoke <laughs> but there are no concrete things instead uh, saudi arabian people are very concrete people and i can understand and i can re- i could realize also that people there are very happy because uh, you know they they are actually uh, very very spiritual and they are keeping a very deep sense of humanity that maybe western countries have lost and that also made me go to india and to this uh, arabic countries in search of it because you know after you you have been to these arabic countries like saudi arabia dubai you know so uh, bahrain uh, i was in muscat in oman and all then you don't want to go back to western countries because you you can see the comparison and you can see that how things are working different there and uh, how people are genuine are, are, are different so it's like the vibrations also that you you feel in the air so i think uh, i should shift forever maybe in one of these countries let's see <laughs> i i was seriously thinking about that because i feel very i can be to be natural environment as per what is my inner nature we have a uh, better women rights now and uh, we have a new industry for the cinemas which is we call it saudi wood and we have uh, neom city coming up which uh, first phase is already done and it is one of the most developed uh, city uh, in Absolutely. the world of reboots they are and very neom clean, very rich and uh, people are actually uh, if genius because if you imagine that from the desert where they have been to build such a huge richness and such big building and everything is functioning perfect so it's it's even more appreciable because you know the the nature was a kind of a style let's say because from the desert from the sand they were able to build such a, a fantastic environment uh, imagine what what they would have done if they would have had the same uh, you know natural environment like uh, i don't know europe or usa you know where there is water there are there are uh, trees there are forests you have anything and still they are going down as per the economy instead i always take these arabic arabic countries as a, an example for the full world to be uh, looked at because from almost nothing from the sand from the desert see how rich and how uh, how a beautiful uh, 
life they are they are doing so really we should take example from from them rather than just you know criticizing those and different invented faults <laughs> and you know as a Saudi, by the as a saudi would we are also coming up with our uh, movie with the bollywood which will be oh. shot in saudi arabia and mumbai uh Thank so many projects we are working for and some were interrupted because of the corona issue but we will carry on yes yeah. even i was supposed to be nowadays in uh, south indian because i was uh, signed for uh, acting in a uh, south indian mm -hmm. movie it would be may but as of now i don't think uh, before july or august we will be able to to shoot it because uh, nowadays in italy it's uh, lockdown has ended but uh, in india it's still in lockdown so you know uh, we have to wait at least july or august so just yeah. we will be patient we are making the gym of patience you know like a gym we are becoming <laughs> more and more patient like when we do gym exercises since you know you are talking that you are going to do that and acting in the movie then we have a task for you because our show name is the smile with samira aziz can you show us three types of a smile of yours three smiles three what sorry i i can't hear what did you say can you show us uh, as you are saying that you have signed one film also yes. as an actor yeah so uh, we you uh, we have one task for you task uh, uh, task in, yeah. Yeah. what do you want give me some lines i will do specially for you <laughs> uh, uh, okay um okay um so one line in, to you <laughs> hindi mein hindi mein uh, uh, or arabic let me try arabic arabic i actually i never tried arabic let me ch let me make the challenge even more difficult because i am in love with the challenges <laughs> uh ana hubbik ya saudi and i hope big has sarudi yeah sarudi okay right <laughs> no if, uh, I, if i say some bad words I, please forgive me and i hope yani mujhe aapse mohabbat hai saudi arabia mujhe aapse mohabbat hai ah okay fantastic mujhe mujhe aapse bahut mohabbat hai bahut bad hai i love you saudi arabia Okay, <laughs> lovely, so lovely. I love, I love this, uh, this yeah. sound, you know, because yeah. uh, I've heard also, also uh, this um, um, the writing from the Quran is uh, Quran is based on sounds. Even the the word Allah, it's actually a sound. You know, Allah, all this this the guttural sounds like Allah, like uh, going resonating on the back of the throat. I I want to actually learn Arabic because it's a it's a kind of new sounds that we don't have in our Western languages. Even in Hindi, it was so uh, challenging for me to understand the three kind of T. like t t t now i can do easily but it has been such a tough challenge for me because in italian language in my language we just have one t like table or ta so we don't actually have in our uh, ears uh, these sounds so, so it's something that you have to learn from beginning like uh, like a newborn child <laughs> so there are sounds in the uh, language that i want to learn so, so the task is that the task is you smile uh, like three three types of a smile i want to see this three is the type. task okay okay three. wait um uh, this one hmm one se dusra wala dusra teesra wala nice third one was <laughs> oh this nice. was more charming <laughs> said <Nice>. was more loud <laughs> yeah. and i want to know that tell us what is your message for us for your middle east fans before wind up we want to know what do you want to say i want to say to all your fans uh, the word is one and it should be uh, just uh, done by love love is the supreme law um, law of the world 
So no differences should be there, no hatred, no hate. So uh, just uh, keep on loving whatsoever, uh, you know, situation, even new situation uh, is there because uh, there is always a beautiful surprise in it. And it depends just uh, from your eyes, okay? <laughs> so how to see that? And uh, uh, sometimes things are bad just because we see it, we see them with the with per particular eyes uh, of hate, of hatred. Instead, we should always have a, a vision of love in, uh, in the world. That will, I'm sure that will make the world much, much better. Wow, great, great, great message. I'm really, really so happy talking to you. Thanks a lot, Chukonda, for being with us. Take yeah. an action. We will welcome you uh, soon in Saudi Arabia after this corona. I'm looking forward to, and uh, thanks for inviting me. Thanks to all the beautiful fans who are today, and uh, lots of love. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. जी दोस्तों तो सुना आपने कितनी प्यारी बात जाते जाते कह गई जियो कॉन्डा शी सैड द वर्ल्ड इज वन एंड द ओनली रिलेशन अ पॉजिटिव रिलेशन इज द रिलेशन ऑफ लव एंड पीस और इसे कहते हैं पीपल टू पीपल इंटरेक्शन एंड कल्चरल एक्सचेंज तो ऐसे ही अच्छे अच्छे लोगों से प्यारी पर्सनैलिटी से हम आपको इंस्पायर करते रहेंगे लेकिन उसके लिए करना पड़ेगा आपने हमें सब्सक्राइब लाइक शेयर और बेल आइकन भी दबा देना है समीर अजीज ऑफिशियल पे यूट्यूब इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक ट्विटर और स्नैपचैट पर भी और याद रखिए कि मेरा फेसबुक पर्सनल अकाउंट जो है समीरा डॉट अजीज डॉट मीडिया कभी कभी हम वहां पर भी शोज करते हैं तो उसको भी फॉलो कर देना है बीजेएम एंटरटेनमेंट मुंबई इंडिया से ब्रेन बगाडिया और मयूर गुप्ता और समीरा अजीज एंटरटेनमेंट से सैद अब्दुल लतीफ इस शो स्माइल विथ समीरा अजीज के लिए हमेशा रहते हैं मुताहर तो हम आएंगे फिर से और फिर मिलेंगे किसी नई पर्सनैलिटी के साथ आपसे टिल दान मा असला बाय बाय